Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a um, get ready and chill with me video. And I'm gonna kinda talk about, you know, what's been going on, where have I been. I'm gonna spill the tea about myself. Not really, but yeah. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So I've already like moisturized my face and all that stuff. I look like a chola and I love it. <laughs> I love my chola look. Anyways, I'm just gonna prime. I'm gonna use the Myriad Oracle Oil Oral Oil Control Mattifier. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Someone told me this is not a primer. I didn't know that. They said it was a moisturizer, but it doesn't feel moisturizing at all. Like, not one bit. But this is what it looks like. This is a sample size, but this does not feel moisturizing at all. This whole time I thought it was mine. <laughs> and apparently it's not. So, yeah. So, the last time I made a video was like a year ago and I can tell you this that I was just very um depressed I suffer from depression and anxiety really bad but now it's like I have it under control finally which is really good and it's really awesome and I'm really proud of myself but yeah I suffer from depression and anxiety and when you're in that zone of like your very lows your lows like how do I explain it um how do I explain it I don't know I don't even know how to explain it like how do you use this wait a minute But um, I don't really know how to explain it. All I know is that I wasn't doing great, you know? I wasn't happy. I wasn't like, just happy. And that's what I lacked in. I lacked in happiness. And my family would be like, you know, why are you unhappy? Why, are you, why do you feel depressed? I don't know why, I just do. Is everything in my life going good where I shouldn't feel depressed? Yes, but I still feel depressed. Why? I don't know. I just do. So, I had a really bad breakdown. And when I say breakdown, I mean like, I, like, I don't know. I just had a point in my life earlier this year where I like broke down crying. Not knowing why. And I was just so unhappy with my life, with me with who I was, with who, yeah, with who I was in the, like, before I got treatment. By the way, this is the NYX Hydrating Oil Primer. But, um, I was just very unhappy, you know? And I didn't know why, to be honest, and I, I just don't know why, but I was very unhappy. And now that I finally, you know, went to a psychiatrist and like I'm in therapy I'm so happy now like I'm a different person I feel different I think differently and I just want to get back into YouTube because one I love makeup and two I just feel like this is my um, calling you know this is the dream satin liquid from Maybelline in the shade one Terry, one one Terry, one twenty caramel. It probably might not fit me because I got tanned. Your girl went to the beach and a pool. Your girl is tanned, but let's see. But yeah, I was just very unhappy and like I don't know. It was time for me to do something about it finally, and I finally did, and it was. 
the best thing I've ever did in my life. I'm so proud of myself that I went and got help. This is the brush from Morphe, the E6 brush. I'm gonna blend out my foundation with it. And I just feel happy. Like, even people around me have told me, like, girl, you look good. You're like, you know, you just, I don't know. Different, but in a good way. So I went to a psychiatrist and I got on Lexapro for my depression and my anxiety and it's been going great. I've been on it for like a month or two now. It's been going great. And I'm just like really happy. That's how I, that's the best way I could describe it. I just did this ass backwards. I never put on my foundation before I do my eyebrows. What the fuck? The show must go on. Anyways. But, yeah. So yeah, that's really what's been going on with me. I, before I got treatment, my lows were very low and my highs didn't last long and I felt like I was on a roller coaster ride and I felt like because I was on a roller coaster ride it wasn't fair to put my kids and my husband to that I needed to get help and I feel like the reason why I know I needed to get help is because I work in the mental health field so I know you know what I'm saying like I know that I wasn't feeling right and that I wasn't right and I, I felt like people other than like my husband who of course lives with me and like knows me know that I wasn't okay you know like it came to the point like where I felt like I couldn't hide it anymore and my coping skill well coping skills that I thought I had weren't working anymore this is a Maybelline blender. It's amazing. And like, yeah, it just, it just wasn't working. And the reason why I wanted to sit down and be so open with you, whoever is watching this, is because if you're going through this, just know that you're not crazy. I feel like that's a stigma. Is that the word, the right word to say that? I feel like people just think like, oh, if you need therapy or if you need to see a psychiatrist, you're crazy and, you know, something's really wrong with you or, or you're weak or you don't, like, you're not human. No, you're fucking fine. I need to stop cursing. You're fine. Okay? You're fine. You are amazing. You are incredible. You are loved. You are wanted. You are cared for. People care about you. And, you know... Some people just don't understand what it's like to have a mental illness, you know? And it's hard, it's hard. It's like you're fighting yourself, like internally. And it's like the hardest thing anyone could ever go through, you know? And it's, it's just really, really, really hard. But yeah, I just wanted, I just knew I needed to get help. I knew that I needed to go reach out and find a place where I could get therapy and see a psychiatrist all in one. And I did and I feel so incredibly like satisfied. You guys have no idea. Like I used to wake up crying. Damn, well not crying, but like almost crying. I used to wake up really unhappy and like I didn't want to get out of bed, but I had to because I had to go to work. And then I didn't want to get dressed. Like it was just really, really, really sad to be honest. And I remember one time in the car with my husband, he was like, you need to get your shit together. And that, I feel like that was a wake up call for me because I was like, and then I kind of felt like he didn't understand me, but he didn't say it to like break me or anything. He said it because like we're a family. I'm a mom, you know, and he's my husband. 
he doesn't want to seem like this and he wants me to be good and strong for our kids and I want to be good and strong for our kids you know and then I remember I went to work that day and I couldn't hold it anymore I just went into my supervisor's office and I broke down and I cried like I've never cried in my life before and I felt like I can't I can't live like this anymore so I spoke to her and um, she kind of like told me yeah no you need to go see a psychiatrist and you need to go get therapy and I was like you know what you're right I really do and the thing is that it's scary because you feel like at least me working in the mental health field I know with all the signs well I feel like I'm familiar so my camera shut off I hope yeah my camera shut off damn it but long story short I was just really unhappy with myself I felt really miserable and I finally, a few weeks later, I called a place and I went and got help. And it was the best thing I've ever did in my life. Because this I'm doing for me. For my own sanity, for my own comfort, for my own well-being. I did it for me and it was like, it's the best thing I've ever done. To be honest, and I'm just so happy that I could like finally function I feel because I feel like I was functioning but not at a good level you know I feel like I just had a mask on all the time and I was just like you know happy happy and like hi how you doing and blah 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 and functioning and but really inside I was like not happy I was not happy at all so yeah I'm just I'm so relieved to be honest, it's like a weight lifted off of my shoulders that I went. I took the initiative and I went and I got med management and I got therapy. And yeah. I'm just so happy. But if you guys, whoever is watching this, if you guys do feel like you need to speak to someone, reach out and go, you know get an appointment with a therapist and talk to them let them know what's going on because I feel like friends and family because they know you and they're very involved with your life they'll look at you and be like girl get over yourself you know but it's like no it's not get over myself it's like I'm really struggling right now because i did reach out to a few family members and they weren't like oh, whatever because they were being mean it's just it's like they didn't understand what i was where i was coming from they didn't understand why i felt the way i felt okay these, these eyebrows are giving me a run for my money right now they're not cooperating But um, I did tell a few family members, I was like, man, I'm just like, I just feel depressed. You know, I just, I just, I'm not feeling happy and I'm going to go get help. And I had a few people tell me like, well, maybe if you start, you know, walking and losing weight, maybe you won't feel depressed. And my weight has nothing, well, it does play a little bit, but it's more than that, you know, because I've always been insecure, like my self-esteem, I'm working on. And that's another reason why I stopped doing YouTube because I just felt like I'm not good enough or I'm not sounds bad don't judge me but I felt like I'm not skinny enough to be on YouTube like I'm too big I'm too fat and just stuff that gets in people's heads that you can't help but to like you know I just shut myself down to be honest I just, I couldn't take it anymore. 
but I want to do YouTube because I love doing this. This was so much fun when I was doing it. I, I made a list and I'm like, why did I, why did you, girl, why did you stop? Like, I told myself, okay, let's make a list. Let's see why we stopped to see if we should keep going. Or I should keep going, rather. And I made a list and it was like, all what reasons why I thought I shouldn't do. I would, I would tell myself, I'm like, no, you should do it. I should totally do YouTube because, first of all, I've already invested money in buying a camera and like the makeup. I, I had the makeup before because I love makeup. But I bought the camera and I've, you know, purchased the editing app thing. Whatever, because eyebrows are just not working. And like, I made, you know, a big deal about it and I'm like, no, I need to continue doing makeup. Be or YouTube because I loved it. I had fun. So why should I stop? Um, I'm using the flower beauty. Flower beauty. What is wrong with me today? I cannot speak. I'm using the flower beauty concealer. This is a light illusion and deep and medium deep. Um. So yeah, I told myself like, no girl, you need to get back on that saddle and do your thing because. One, I love makeup, and two, I have so much fun doing this. I have so much fun editing. Well, now, I have fun editing and looking back and I'm like, oh my gosh. Because that's what, that's another thing. The reason why I stopped doing YouTube because I just felt like I was so cringeworthy that I couldn't handle it. Like I couldn't handle myself and I would like, second guess everything and I would edit to the point where it was literally just the introduction like hi how are you guys welcome to my channel and I couldn't get past that because I thought that my content or the video that I was editing at the moment editing at the moment was just not good and I was my I was like my own like instead of being my own cheerleader I was the one that was bringing myself down and for no reason, because it's not like anyone ever told me, oh, you know, you shouldn't do YouTube because you suck. No, I was telling myself, like, girl, you suck. <laughs> and I don't. I really don't. I'm really good at doing makeup. You know? So, yeah. I'm going to continue to do this because I enjoy it. And this is, like, my me time. This is my my this is my passion this is something that i really 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 love to do so yeah but i just wanted to tell you guys that yeah if you're going through a hard time please go talk to somebody about it please go to a psychiatrist's office or a therapist's office and go get help because it doesn't get any better it really doesn't you think it does and it doesn't it just it doesn't get any better at all it just gets worse it gets worse because it eats you in the inside and unless someone else is going through it and they're at a point in their life where they're they have a clear mind like no one can help you to be honest no one I would rely on like relationships like for example relationships like being a mom why am i going like this i am a mom like i'm a real mom <laughs> but like i would rely on relationships like i don't know trying to find new friends and trying to find um something in my marriage that make me happy and cling on to that but in all reality if i'm not happy on the inside i can't be a good mom i can't be a good wife i can't be a good daughter i can't sister like nothing i needed to sorry my i just don't know when this camera turns off because i'm getting noise but i just needed i really needed to take care of myself and i'm so happy that i did because i feel like i am at the best that i've ever been and it's so liberating it's so liberating it's so it feels so 
freaking good. It feels amazing. The fact that I did what I did, basically. You know, it just, it's the best. I'm telling you guys, it's like the best. I can't stop saying, explaining it, but in that way, it's the best thing that I've ever done in my life. The best. You might be asking, why is this girl doing her makeup, taking it on and putting on her glasses? Uh, because I didn't feel like putting on my contacts. And I am a blind bat, and I can't see without them. Sorry. But yes. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. What else has been going on? It's just that. That's just been going on. I just felt like I wasn't worthy of anything in life. And I wasn't good at anything in life, but that's not true. I am. This is my calling, and this is what I'm gonna do. And it is what it is. So right now I'm just, I'm telling you, I was so caught up in my conversation with y'all that I'm doing my makeup all backwards. Like first of all, I never do my foundation first. I always do my my um primer and my eyebrows first because i want the primer to sit like soak i want my skin to soak in the primers before i put on my foundation so weird and then my eyebrows are not coming out right i feel like this one's darker than this one this one's a little bit thicker than that but it's okay it is okay and i'm cleaning them with the la girl pro concealer this one is in Creamy Beige. This is in Fawn. For those of you who kept asking like, why did you stop YouTuber? Can you start? I'm sorry. To those of you who kept reaching out to me and I would not give you a straight answer. I would tell people like, oh, it's hard. But yeah, YouTube is hard. It is very hard because it's like, girl, it's like a full-time job, okay? And I already got one of those. Editing is like so hard, blah, blah, blah. Which it is, but it's something that you just have to learn not something that is gonna stop you you know it's not something that no so I'm back but I'm using the Colourpop no filter setting powder oh yes okay I see you Colourpop oh, oh my god Shade. I mean this setting powder Wow Like my under eyes are Wow I'm impressed Okay color pop Okay so next I'm using the Becca bronzer This one right here <gasps> This bronzer gives me life I promise you it does And I'm using the e.l.f angle brush their black one the six dollar one all i can say you guys is that i'm happy like really 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 happy with oh, my the way my treatment is going with like i just feel like i don't know like i had a really good wake-up call and i needed it like i really did like as the happiest I've ever been and I feel like because I'm happy my confidence is boosting to like the point where I'm like wearing a bathing suit which is really big for me because as you can tell I'm more on the heavy set side and I before this year I haven't worn a bathing suit in like six years which is like not okay because everybody not just women everybody should feel comfortable with their body and unfortunately I didn't 
feel comfortable with my body, but everybody should be should feel comfortable with their body. And the way they look is, I feel like everybody's beautiful. Everybody's beautiful, everybody's different, and we're different for a reason, because if we were the same, it would be so freaking boring. We'll all be like, eh, you know. But I'm feeling so comfortable with my body. And I'm wearing a bathing suit and I'm wearing it like almost every week because I'm like, yes, let's go to the beach. Yes, let's go to the pool. And I put on my two piece and I just feel so comfortable, it's so good, and it's so liberating. I'm like, you guys have no idea how good it is to feel good, to feel genuinely happy, genuinely at peace, genuinely fulfilled with like joy you know and i remember because my parents are um very involved in church my mom was like well maybe you should just you know look for god and i did for the longest i i didn't go to church but i do pray a lot and i felt like i was at peace with god you know i felt like i was at peace and that's another reason why i um I feel like that's another reason why I felt guilty was because I felt like God is giving me everything that I need in life and I'm still not happy. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, I felt guilty for feeling that way. And that also played into my depression. I'm not saying that that's my mom's fault because it's not. And it's no one's fault, actually. But I, depression is just, it's a, the only way I could describe depression is like, depression is a demon. You know, depression is like the worst thing anybody could go through, to be honest. It's not fun at all. Not fun. Oh, it's itching right here. Now I'm going to use the NARS. This was a little birthday gift from Ulta. But I'm using NARS Orgasm. I thought that everybody was way too hyped on this blush until I got this. I was like, where have I been at? Like, girl, what? What? Like, it's the best thing in life. And it looks good on any skin tone. Like, yes, NARS. Thank you. I'm gonna smile. This is Coralina. I was reading it in Spanish and then sound right. So this is Coralina from Maybelline and it's from Maybelline, no girl, from Milani. And it's a big blush that's like this and it's so nice. It's so nice and peachy, but it is glittery. So be very careful. This is Elf Bronze Peach, and it looks like this. Um, what else? What else? What else? Brush. I got this in a. Was this a birthday gift too from Ulta, or was this in a gift bag? I know. I think this was in a gift bag. Sometimes I like to also go in with the rose blush from Ulta. I don't know if you could get this like by itself, but I tap into that just a little bit. Well, this went from a chit chat and chill with me to a how-to tutorial. And I'm very sorry that I'm all over the place, but I just wanted to sit down and film, you know, and talk to you guys. But now that I feel like, okay, that's enough blush. Whew. Now that I feel like I filled you guys in, which I thought was gonna be the whole video, just talk. My chair just went down. Just talking about myself. I feel like I feel y'all in already. So, yeah. I put on too much blush. <laughs> you see, I blend that out really nicely.
I'm going in with the whites with this one. With, can y'all see with these three right here? This is white sand, golden dawn, and hot sand. setting spray but I don't like the spritzer on it it's not even gonna go there so I put it in this Mario Badescu little thing and I'm gonna set my face right now I want to put on anything on my lips mm, no I do I do I do I do I do I'm gonna line my lips with the Ulta lip liner pencil in bittersweet and then i'm gonna top it with um the palladio casey holmes edition right edition and rescue her liquid lipstick like she didn't play okay I'm gonna use again another concoction. I'm gonna use a Lancome um, mascara. It just says Lancome. I'm not even gonna try to read it. But this is this is a Lancome one, and then this is the light camera act. Oh, light camera lashes from Tarte. I'm gonna use these. But this is it for this video you guys thank you for getting ready with me and chilling i hope you really like this video um i really am gonna work hard on making more videos and making more content and yeah please remember to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you like it even if you didn't like it still give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye